My absolute delight and pleasure to be here to be talking about uh, Theatre Rhythm, a uh, 3DS title that I absolutely love. But we're talking about the sequel, Curtain Call. So just a quick overview, what is Curtain Call? What is the sequel about? Uh, the full title, as you can see here, is uh, Theatre Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call, and it's the sequel to the original Theatre Rhythm. Uh, this time what we've really aimed for is a title with a massive volume of content for players to enjoy. So uh, in the original game we had uh, just under 80 songs. Uh, but this time we've got a massive up to 221 songs included in there. Um, and there's also um, 60 characters covering all the different Final Fantasy games. Um, also in the previous title we only covered the, the mainline numbered series of the Final Fantasy. But this time we've got songs and characters from all the different spin-off titles as well. So there's a huge amount of things in there. The, the obvious question then is how do you guys decide which songs we're going to make the cuts? Because do you have like a Spotify playlist and work down them? Yes, no, I mean uh, there is a sort of like a playlist there or a, a, a track list that we put in there and the way we start with that is we do a number of different uh, surveys and uh, and ask people what they want it's not not quite as direct as just saying well which, which songs would you like to have in theatre rhythm but we do all sorts of different different ways of asking and different kinds of surveys and then that's what we base our first list on and then we, we sort of narrow down from there the ones we want with the design of the original game it was played out like a, a, a battle within the, the Final Fantasy universe. Uh, I'm just wondering whether, have you kept that same aesthetic, or is there alterations at all? Have you changed anything for Curtain Call? Yeah, no, there's, there's not a massive change in the way that the overall game is set up and laid out there. It's still very much a battle taking place in the Final Fantasy universe. But obviously within each individual track, each individual song you've got, you've got the characters will turn up are different, and the, the, the setting and the background and the story behind each scene is different. So uh, yeah, it's just all those different things really. Now, we did come in to talk to you about this. However, as I came in, I noticed that. And that was a very, very, very pleasant surprise. Can you sort of discuss what is Final Fantasy VII G-Bike? Okay, yeah, I'm just to talk about in terms of how we, um, what we're putting into the games and what they're about. Obviously, Theatre Rhythm here, the, the main title we're showing, is... Uh, the, the star of the show, if you like, is the, the music itself of the Final Fantasy. Obviously, you've got the different characters, the different uh, stories and scenes in there, but it's really about the music, and that's what people enjoy. Uh, but comparing that to G-Bike, which you've got here, obviously G-Bike is... Uh, the star of G-Bike is, is the, the G-Bike minigame from the original Final Fantasy VII. So uh, what we're really trying to do there is get as much of the elements and the feeling and, and the, the story of Final Fantasy VII in there and really bring out what made that such a good game. So it's really focused around around seven, which is what a lot of people want to see. Just to elaborate a little bit more on that, so you've used the mini game from Final Fantasy VII as an inspiration then, but this is a, a fully fledged game in its own right, so the visuals are slightly different. I mean, what what's involved in that game? People play it, what do they play? Okay, um, yeah, as you, you pretty much uh, understand, we, we're just taking Final Fantasy VII G-Bike and make it in modern, pretty graphics is not really going to create a, a game which is all right in its own right. So, uh, no, what we've done is very much taken it as inspiration, like you say, and um, we've, we've basically added in a lot more of the, of the features. We really want the different elements which really made Final Fantasy VII. So you've got, for example, the materia system, and uh, obviously Cloud as, as the main character, and, the, and Cloud's weapons that you use in the game. And very much stuff that people will be familiar with from the original game. Um, and, and the courses as well, obviously in the original it was just on the Midgar Highway, but uh, we're also going to include a number of courses from other various places in the Final Fantasy VII universe. Um, so yeah, there's a lot more in there than just the original game. Um, but no, so what we really wanted to do is to bring out the, what made 7 so special and so for people who played the original they can, they can play G-Bike and reminisce and say yeah I remember this is what made such a great game and also for people who maybe haven't played the original they can look at it and say wow this looks really interesting I mean um, I want to check out more about Final Fantasy 7 and see what, what's in there. I'm very happy to see that created because I spent so much time in the Golden Saucer myself probably too much than was actually healthy and there's uh, various other mini games that would seem perfectly fitting for mobile. And whilst it might not be the time to ask this, I have to ask this, would there be any chance of seeing perhaps maybe Triple Triad appear on mobile at some point in the future? Yeah, no, I mean, just as you mentioned, there are a lot of fans, very much like yourself, who really are, enjoy these mini games and, and the little spin-off titles and that, and really want to see more of them. We really don't want to disappoint people in that. Um, so yeah, obviously, um, we'd like to do this kind of thing. There's, if, if you ask, have we got anything in development at the moment? We certainly know that there's nothing concrete at the moment yet, but we really, we really would like to go back to a lot of these games and, and start 
from scratch again and build them up as proper titles in the, the work in the modern and for the, the phones and stuff now. Um, so yeah, we, we're going to try and put a lot of effort into that, but uh, there's nothing concrete at the moment yet. Finally, hi, are you prepared? Are you ready? <laughs> what, what do you think your chances are? <laughs> That's what's next, Matt. You? Well, you said, "Am I ready?" But I think preparation is something that only the weak do. So I'm going to go out there like I am now, and I'm pretty confident I'm going to win. I'm going to show you. Eh, このまま戦って普通に勝ちたいと思います。Just listen to me. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. Safe trips home and all the best. Thanks a lot for you for your questions today. Um, but uh, I'm going to bring some new titles, and you can enjoy them too later. Today.